people. This should be interesting. I am going to a place that is well known in Glendale called Portos. They are known, it's like a landmark for their coffees or teas, their pies, their cakes. Just, it's really, really, really amazing place I've been told about for so long. And sometimes I wait to go to places. So I'm walking up to it now. Let me show it to you. And it's drizzling. So good morning to you guys. I'm Authentic Epic Boom. I gave you two videos. And here's another one. Hey, good morning, peoples. I am in Forna Portos. This place is like really well known, established, great bakery. And it's popular, it's more like a landmark. It's not crowded yet, so I'm gonna start in this line. I've been told about this place for so long, and sometimes I just wait, you know, and just make a decision to go to places when I feel like it. And when I feel like I have time, and I'm glad I came early, because this place is usually always crowded out of capacity and it's beautiful in here it's like two different seating areas way back there but um i just felt like coming here and i knew i had something to do out here once i got off work so let's read this everything like i said they're known for their pastries their breads the meat pies potato ball oh cheese balls guava and cheese strudel salad i know i want something to drink this time i won't get a pastry or oh, might we're about to see line is not too bad i came early so that means the rush is not here i'm gonna see what they suggest versus what i should get what i should get so with that being said i will uh see how fast this line is going and those are all the little menus over there hope you all are doing well and let's go here to the pies mm. Pies. Let me see how much I can get up close and personal with the pies. Okay. Yum, yum, yum. It smells amazing. So many different flavors of sweet, uh, sour, um, tangy, and in between. This is a family place. It's been around, like I said, for years. You can even see the cakes in the back there. They're making things happen back there. Get in so I can show you all some prices and some stuff. And I'm, I'm interested in what other people are ordering. I might order who's ordering in front of me. You know, people are doing that on YouTube, so we will see. I might not do that today, but I'm so interested in all the food here. Hi. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Oh, better now that I'm here. It's my first time. I've heard so many great things. I know this place is legendary. Thank you. Um, I think I'm going to try apple turnover this morning, and I want a gourmet coffee. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, anything you suggest? Cheese roll. Okay. Yeah. So you guys give out little samples? Oh, I'm, I'm always here for little samples. Did I hear that, y'all? Samples. Let me show you some other stuff. That one looks passion. Macaroon. I don't like macaroon, but I'm willing to try that. My God, look at this. And also the, uh, and the line is starting to really get into strawberry. Ooh, strawberry. Um, croissant. Nice and fresh. Thank, thank you. Nice and fresh. I feel so honored. So this is a cheese roll. Cheese roll. Thank you. Oh, this is amazing. Okay. Really? Oh my, I'm, I'm loving this. You're right. I think I'm changing my mind about the apple turnover. <laughs> I think we get the cheese rolls. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm probably going to breakfast um, in a couple hours, so I don't want to do too much. I'm going to do, do a cheese roll and a coffee. You have gourmet coffee here or? 
gourmet coffee, like uh, lattes or yeah, we espressos? Have lattes, we have cappuccinos, we have um, iced uh, coffee. Okay. Okay, I love your lashes, so okay. pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. So what would you, what's popular as far as the drinks are concerned? For the drinks, mm -hmm. I definitely recommend just like the regular house coffee. The regular mm -hmm. house coffee is really good. Okay. Um, I've heard some people you don't even like try Starbucks anymore after trying our coffee. Really? Okay. I really just taste preference. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, uh, we have the old chocolate coffee that's really good. The chocolate's good. Yeah. That's well, I'm going to take you. Would be, yeah, that one would be like, um, like more for lunch. Okay. Because it's more like a blended kind of drink. Mm -hmm. Rather than like a nice coffee here. Oh. Like, yeah. So that's more of a blended drink. Okay. Um, then something else, it would be like an iced vanilla latte. That one's really good if you're like more on the colder side. Okay. You know, I'm going to try the house coffee like you said. Okay, Cheryl, go ahead and grab it. Okay, right, right this way? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Excuse me. Oh my God, look at all of this. Butter, pound cake. I'm going to wait what she told me to. Oh my goodness, look at the bunny cookie, the pineapple empanadas. I've always wanted to try empanada. I have never tried an empanada. I thought they were only like savory with like meat and stuff because that's the only thing I've ever heard, but it's good to know. Oh my God, look at this place. I'm not going to try to make this like a super long video. They got ham croquettes, cheese peppers, chicken croquettes. Oh, I got to come back here and sit down and eat y'all. That got to be a separate video. No, I'm just waiting on my coffee. Good. Good. Thank this is my coffee? Yes. Over there. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, the lady told me once I try this coffee, it might be, it's better than Starbucks. Most people think it's, it's better than Starbucks, but no. That didn't come across to me at all. I added three different creams, half and half, whole milk and milk, and assorted sugars of uh, raw sugar Splenda and regular sugar and it now it tastes okay but better than Starbucks absolutely not